the perfect Gaussian curve fitting in Microsoft Excel. Curve fitting is a process of constructing a curve or mathematical function that has the best fit to a series of data points. Fitted curve can be used as an aid for data visualization to conclude values of a function where no data are available and to summarize the relationship among two or more variables. The equation for Gaussian curve is y is equals to a exponential minus x minus b square divided by 2c square where a is the height, b is the position and c is the half width full maxima. So let's try to fit a data with a Gaussian curve. We have x and y data. Let's plot a graph of this with xy scatter chart. So it looks like this. Let me modify its look so that uh, it can look better. Okay, so now it's quite better. As per the equation, y is equals to a into exponential minus x minus b square divided by 2c square, we need three variables, a, b and c. Let's assume the values of these variables are 1, 1 and 1. So now we can write the equation in the column for the fit curve. So equation can be written as j1 into minus a2 minus j2 the whole square divided by 2 into j3 square. Again here I don't want to move the value of j as I move towards the as I move in different cells of the c column. So I will put dollar sign in front of j. Let's drag from the central corner so that it will fill all the columns with the calculated values. Now let's add this data also on the same graph with a series name as fit. X value is the X and Y value is the fitted value. So this orange, so this orange line shows the calculated values, shows the calculated value of the fit. Now let me modify again it into the black line and let's try to manually adjust the values of variables a, b and c so that it looks little like the like Gaussian curve. Okay, there is a mistake in the bracket number of brackets. So let's add few more brackets and then it will calculate properly. So and let's try to see. Yes, now you can see the Gaussian curve is coming out. So we can have this curve. Now uh, we have to calculate the chi square which is the which is the square of difference between observed value and calculated value. So b2 minus c2 the whole square it comes now the sum of chi square is is sum of all the values in d column so we can say it come so we can write sum of d and d so this will sum all of them so now we will again use the solver add-in to minimize the value of sum of g square so if you don't have the solver add-in you can enable this in the option menu go to option then add ins and then select on go 
and then from add-ins window just select solver and it will show up in the data of in the data window so let's choose solver in this case we can select the target cell target cell as the sum of g square we want it to be minimum value so we can select minimum and then we can select the variables variables are a b and c and then when we click the solve button it will try to it will calculate the value of a b c so that it can minimize the amount the sum of g square so you can see now you can see now that uh, values of a b and c have been changed and the value of sum g square is now only 8 or it's the minimum and also the fitted curve is perfectly matching with the original data we can use same method for fitting multiple peaks in one graph for example in this case we have a graph of x and y which is having almost three gaussian peaks so when we plot this it shows something like this let let me modify the look of this graph to normal one so now it's it looks okay and then as you can see there are almost three peaks so i will add three different peaks for each and every component so peak 1 will have three variables a b c similarly peak 2 will have three variables and also peak 3 will have three variables let the value of variables in peak a are 1 1 1 in peak 2 is 2 2 2 and in peak 3 is 3 3 3 now we will have three columns for all the three peaks peak 1 peak 2 peak 3 and a fit column which will be the sum of peak 1 peak 2 and peak 3 and then finally g square so let's write the formula of the first peak that is j2 exponential minus a2 minus j3 the whole square divided by 2 into j4 square here again i will put the dollar sign on in the value of all the variables so that it will not change with the number of columns number of rows okay and when i drag this it will fill all the all the column so now let's plot these datas of peak 1 on the same graph so we got this orange color line with this and let me modify it into a green color line so as the values are very low it is not showing on this let's try to manually adjust the value of a b and c so that we can see the peak okay so 4025 and 2 3 okay so it is showing the peak similarly we can calculate the value for the peak 2 also so i will just copy and paste and all i will do is move the columns move the cells into the proper one so x can be mo moved into x and a b c are to be moved from peak 1 to peak 2 and then finally i will drag this and this will calculate the whole values now again we will plot this data also on the same graph and change its uh, look into blue colored peak this is also not visible as the value of abc is uh, very low again so let's try to adjust manually so that we can have this little look of this peak so it is 2545 and 3 and similarly for the third peak i will repeat the same thing and drag the column to fit the datas and again plot this this also on the same graph let's 
let's put this as a purple color line and value of a b and c can be changed manually so that we can see the graph now to fit with the actual data we need sum of all the three peaks that means fit will be sum of peak 1 peak 2 and peak 3 so we can put the value of fit let's plot this also on the same graph so this is sum of all the three peaks and that's why it is looking on the sum of all the three peaks let's make it black in color so it is above all the three peaks now g square is square of deviations so y minus fit the whole square and let's drag this also so this will calculate g square and finally the sum of g square will be sum of the values of column g so we can say sum g g it is very high now because it is not matching with the actual data and and now our sheet is ready only we need to solve this for the matching of the data or the curve fitting so we can again use the solver plugin and uh, we can put the target cell as the sum of g square which is to be minimum and then variables for all the for the first peak let's try to fit this data with on with changing only first peak so we can only select a b c of the peak 1 and try to solve this so it so as you can see now first peak is matching with the actual data but second and third peaks are not matching so this time again we can repeat the step and selecting only the variables from peak 2 and this time it will match with the with the actual data similarly for the third peak also you can also select all the variables at a time but sometimes the calculation goes very tricky and uh, it uh, gives some uh, strange results that's why it is the best practice to fit peak fit peaks one by one so that's why we are also doing this one by one and lastly when everything is at the same position and same height we can finally fit the data with all the three variables changing adjusting all the three variables so now you can see all the data is perfectly matching with the with the given data And if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to press the bell icon. And now you can also get my lecture notes from chapekmedia.co.nf.